What is going on everybody? Welcome to a special edition episode of Ripping Packs. It's Tuesday and I just got home from a Walmart. Thanks so much to my friend Brad who reached out to me and let me know, dude, get here now. Um, they're putting stuff out. Well, I was able to get there, missed out on some select, which, okay, but I did get the last blaster box of 2021 Topps Chrome. We are going to rip this open here. Seven packs plus one extra pack, four cards per pack, 32 total cards. We're gonna rip this open and we're gonna do a preview of what Topps Chrome is gonna look like. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs on a Tuesday. I know, crazy, I quit doing these, but when you get something cool as Topps Chrome hitting the field, uh, hitting the hitting the, the field, you gotta do a show on it real quick. So this is 2021, it comes out Friday in the hobby. Jumbos and hobby boxes and everything. It's definitely pricey. You're looking at $30 now for a blaster box. We have, again, seven packs of a, uh, four cards plus one extra pack. Uh, there are two sepia and two pink parallels inside. I've opened up Topps Chrome obviously before on the channel uh, with blasters and cellos and update and megas and all that fun stuff. But this is going to be a first look. It's probably going to be exactly like Series 1 and Series 2 2021. There might be image uh, you know, uh, tweaks here and there, but yeah, we're going to rip this open. But before I do this, it's time for the spiel. <laughs> Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell. Yeah, leave a comment. Tell me, is there anything in here? Are you looking forward to uh, Topps Chrome? I know it's been a price increase. Uh, looks like hobby boxes are gonna go roughly for about 250, if not 300. Uh, jumbos, forget it, but you're getting five guaranteed autos out of that. But again, $30 for the blaster box. So let me know what you think. Is it worth it? We'll find out. Uh, leave me, uh, you know, hit me up, follow me connect with me be my buddy all in those little things and I'm doing a giveaway I know I know seriously yeah 500 subscribers here on the YouTube we will give away 20 random packs to 20 random subscribers of the NBA hoops from the Dollar Tree five cards per pack yellow parallels included and there's a good chance you're gonna get one of some of the good rookies in here I'm pretty sure of that yeah anyway so when we reach 500 subscribers here on YouTube, and guess what, we're like less than 100 away. So hopefully we can do the giveaway here in the next week. Yeah, I know, seriously. Anyway, Topps Chrome, we, uh, yeah, let's just open this. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick little, I'm gonna scan the back here for the odds. Um, we're just gonna look at what we get. It's gonna be a first look, new release rip. Hopefully I'll get some more down the road. We'll rip open more uh, in a more uh, sophisticated, laid back manner. But I wanted to get this out today. I know people have been ripping them, but you gotta see it from me first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, ripping packs. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay. See what we get here with Topps Chrome for thirty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. No, looks like no special packs at all. It's flat out eight packs right off the get go. No special black pack that says sepia or pinks involved. So they're going to be built into the packs like what Topps has been doing this year. Maybe it's just to cut people selling the individual packs. I don't know, but we're just gonna go from the top. Pack number one, Topps Chrome 2021. Ripping packs, let's go. Hmm. Okay. We've got ourselves our first pink card and it looks like an X-Bractor. Glaber Torres for the Yankees, for the New York Yankees. Eloy Jimenez, who is just a monster right now for the White Sox, now that he's back and he's healthy and the White Sox are in first, and yeah, he's just mashing the ball right now. Eloy Jimenez. I'll show you the back on the last card. We do have a Nick Madrigal X-Fractor. I believe that's the X-Fractor. Uh, nice. Um, he is now a member of the Cubs, and he's out for the year, but he was involved in that trade for uh, Craig... Uh, uh, God. The... Reliever Craig, wow, I'm forgetting his name. Uh, yeah, him, that guy. 
But yeah, there's uh, Nick Madrigal with looks like the X Fractor. And their last card is going to be a pink. And that is going to be Nick Senzel. Pink Nick Senzel, who has now been optioned down to AAA. Um, we'll see if he was able to right the ship. He big time prospect when he came up, but he kind of hasn't panned out. So is this a, is it a, it's a refractor, but it doesn't say. Yeah, just a heads up, I mean, that's what the backs look like. They look exact same as series one and two, and probably update when that hits. But that's what they look like. So there we go, pack number one. Madrigal rookie, cool. Pack number two of Top Chrome Blaster. Let's go. All right, Brady Singer, rookie card for the Royals. He's having an okay year, but I mean, come on, he's a rookie. Let him let him develop a little bit more. But that's cool. Nice little rookie hit there, Brady Singer. Next card is going to be Sean Murphy. Uh, I know, give me crap on this, but I throw all the future stars and gold cups into the hit pile, even though I don't think he's a hit. In my eyes, it is a hit card, just because you just never know down the road. Probably not, but still, hit pile. Then we have Prismic Power uh, with Cody. Belly Bomb Bellinger, who, uh, yeah, I was actually at the game yesterday, and he hit the crap out of the ball, and one of them thought it was out. It wasn't, but... He's, he's, something's, something's wrong. I mean, he's gonna get, he's, it'll write itself, but I think somebody needs to just kind of step in and help tweak him a little bit. But PC hit either way, because he's a Dodger. And the last card is Joey Bart, rookie card for the Giants. And that looks, uh, looks like all the 86s are gonna be like this. They're gonna have that refractor. I'm, I could be wrong here. Doesn't say refractor on the back, but it definitely has a refractor vibe. So there's your 86 uh, Joey Bart rookie going into the rookie pile. All right, so pack number three of Topps Chrome. Four cards, 2021. Let's go. Chris Sale pitched really well the other day going into the PC pile. Uh, he, I mean, I'm glad Chris is back. I mean, the Red Sox need him, and it's like we're getting an ace all over again. So our rotation is now from here to here, just like that. It's good to have him back. Now we have Corey Seager, who has been meh this year. Uh, granted, he's been injured a lot. And yeah, so Corey Seager, uh, another PC hit right there for the Dodgers. Ronald Acuna, nice. Uh, goes into the hit pile. Uh, hope you get back soon there, Ronald, because uh, you, you're awesome. I love watching you play. Are you my favorite player? No. But it's just awesome to have, a, you know, in the sport to have a guy like this who's just got energy and he's just an awesome player. And the last card is a sepia of Sin Shu Chu, who I don't even think is playing anymore. What's interesting on the sepia on this is if you look at it, the border is not, but the picture itself is sepia. So, yeah, well, wish I'd get a better player, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's kind of cool because, yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, cool. All right, pack number four of Topps Chrome 2021. Let's go. Okay, let's get ourselves a good rookie here. Let's get a good rookie. We got Nick Castellanos for the Reds. This guy's just, he's a baller. I just, it's the kind of guy I like watching play. He's just, he's cool. Not a, not a hip pile yet, but for me, he's, but I like it. So there. Uh, six no, so I got a rookie. Uh, he's out for the year, but he's still young and he still has a lot of promise. Uh, one of the key rookies this year with Casey Mize of Annie and Anderson, who were pitchers. Um, obviously, didn't pitch an inning, but let's see what comes back next year. Rookie pile. Then Masahiro Tanaka, looks like a refractor. Um, eh, of all the guys to get a refractor of. Guy's not even playing anymore. I think he's in Japan right now, but I mean, he was a dominant pitcher for the Yankees when he was healthy, um, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and the last card is a pink Acuna. Okay, cool. So we got ourselves a pink Acuna. So we have one more sepia coming up, uh, but that's a that's a nice card. It's nice to get when you get one of these pinks or sepia of a you know of a big time rookie or a big time uh, player. That's a nice hit right there. We are down to our four packs. So half of it's gone. Pack number five of Topps Chrome. Let's go, yeah. Hey. Okay. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers going in the PC pile. Mr. Walker. And then we have another, well, 
Andrew Benatendi, which you'd think they would have fixed this. He's not a sock. He was traded before the season started. He's now with the Royals. Um, yes, he's going to PC Powell because he's got a Red Sox logo and he's wearing a jersey and everything, but you think they would have fixed this for Chrome. It's been enough time has passed by they would have fixed some of the jersey things, like, you know, being on a different team. Anyway, PC Pile. Austin Riley for the Atlanta Braves. He's having a solid season. Um, some people are thinking MVP. I don't think so, but he's definitely getting a chance to show what he can do now with uh, Acuna out. And our last card is Mr. DeGrom. Jake DeGrom from the Mets, who, well, it's, I don't know what's going on there. Um, awesome pitcher, but I think they just relied on him too much, and he's just fatigued, and he just can't throw now. So going into the hit pile for now. No, he's, he's, he's a hit. Pack number, well, like three packs left. So we got pack number six. Top Chrome. Let's go. Mm, first look. We got ourselves Ryan Weathers. Nice. There is the first Chrome rookie card you're going to see for this guy. Because he's not in Series 1 or 2. He was a mid-season call-up, and he's pitched pretty well. for Yeah, this is actually it's a nice hit right there. Ryan Weathers, pitcher for the Padres. Lefty, first rounder from a few years back. Guy is dominant. Um, and honestly, Padres kind of need him right now. But that's, that's a rookie hit right now because he's not in anything yet. Okay, then we have Jose Altuve, who I just keep pulling this clown. Um, granted, you're going to pull him all the time because he's Jose Altuve, but I just, I don't know, maybe it's the whole cheating thing that still sours on me, but yeah, Jose Altuve. And then a pink, wait, we got four pinks here, wow. Andrew McCutcheon for the Phillies. Um, not a big card, but I like Kutch, he's a good ball player, so Ellen, uh, and McCutcheon going into the insert. Wow, and then uh, it's another sepia of Tanner Houck. Red Sox rookie sepia. So that's going into the PC pile right there. But Tanner Houck, and that's, is that an image variation? It looks different than the his rookie card from series two. So it, maybe it is, I don't know. We'll find out. Two packs left. So far we've gotten, what, two, three pinks, two sepias. We're getting more than what you're advertising, Tops. Let's go. Okay, we have Mr. No-Hitter, which is like nine guys this year. John Means for the Baltimore Orioles. That's about all I can add. Uh, Steven Strasburg, who I don't know if he'll ever pitch again. I mean, realistically, he'll be he'll pitch here and there, but he's just going to get injured. So I don't know what's going on there. But he's looks like he's out for the year for the Nationals. Hence the reason they traded half their team. Then Shane Bieber, Cy Young winner last year for the Indians. Now the Guardians. Well, next season the Guardians. And our last card in the pack is Randy Arozarena with the Future Stars for the chrome tops future stars that's a cool card and i like randy i've been throwing him in the hip pal anyway because this is kind of the year for him to show what he can really do and he's done okay last year i think the playoffs was kind of an anomaly he's a good ball player it's just i think we saw a lot early last pack of the tops chrome last year box let's go Okay, Carlos Correa for the Astros, shortstop, soon to be free agent. We'll see if they end up re-upping him. Clayton, who's hopefully will be back soon, but going into the PC pile, but I know that they're hoping to get him back because they signed Cole Hamels and that lasted a week. Uh, Trevor Bauer is going to go to jail, so I think we're going to need Clayton right now. Lourdes Gurriel for the Blue Jays. Uh, I guess he's an outfielder, but he's kind of a utility guy, too. Uh, okay, and the last card is going to be another Ben Attendee with pink. So I pulled Ben Attendee. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. Tops, you could get Ryan Weathers in here, who was added to the roster before this guy was, I mean, after this guy was traded. You could have fixed this. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's more cards for my PC, but still. So there you go. There is your Tops Chrome. Uh, blaster box and it's going to be like i said it's going to be a hobby on friday so jumbos and hobby boxes blaster boxes have been hitting late last week so i was kind of lucky to stumble across it um hits wise i'm going to be honest the hit the big hit for me and i know it's not like the end of, it's not the huge deal but ryan weathers ryan weathers that's a rookie card hit right there he's not in any of the other stuff right now so that's a big hit 
Um, let's see here where any, yeah, so we did get the Madrigal. Um, now the Cubs, like I said, second baseman, and that's an X-Fractor, I believe. I could be wrong, or Prism Refractor. I I'll put below what it actually was. Um, I did want to check one of these was the, was it Masahiro? Yeah, Masahiro, it's just a basic refractor, so it's not saying anything else. And it's funny, if you look at the cards, they will say refractor, not under the number, but right here under the, by the name. So there it says refractor. So just a heads up when you're looking at some of these. Yes, you kind of know what the refractors are, but it's not in where it normally is. And the same, uh, yeah, the pinks don't have it, but the sepia do. Oh, and then the McCutcheon here, which is a pink refractor, number 2399. So yeah, I don't know if that means anything or whatnot, but yeah, number 2399 on McCutcheon. So maybe th that's not a Mother's Day one, is it? Now you're making me want to look at these. Yeah, so we did get a numbered card, McCutcheon. Uh, we did get the Madrigal uh, Prism or X Fractor. So yeah, there we go. And then, uh, hold on, I think, yeah, the Lourdes Guriel was a refractor as well. So yeah, um, there you go. Not a bad blaster box. 30 bucks. Ugh. Did I make that money? Uh. But there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this first look special edition of Ripping Packs. Uh, make sure that that subscribe button, it gets pushed thoroughly. And after you push it thoroughly, that like button, you can smash that. And then you can slam the notification bell and then you can gently type on your keyboard a comment if you'd like. Follow me, all these fun little things down here. And remember, we're doing that giveaway. Reach 500 subs on the YouTube, 20 random packs to 20 subscribers. And if you live in LA, we'll meet up. I'll bring it back to you. Be like, well, here you go. Pick which pack, whatever pack. Thank you again for watching Ripping Packs and come back tomorrow on Wednesday. It will be a junk wax Wednesday. It's gonna be a effing doozy. Take care, I will see you later. Bye-bye.